All right, so let's get started with our sun ray project. So you should have received this paper from me with your other materials that you may have picked up from your teacher. If not, you can just improvise with what you have. We're gonna trace a big half circle and that's gonna be for our sun. So what I'm gonna do with these crayons is I'm also gonna give my sun some more color, kind of using the edge of my crayon to do kind of like a rub. The paper is already yellow, so that's kind of nifty. It's gonna look like a beautiful sunset. Just doing my rubbings. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna put this to the side. All right, so there is our sun. Set that to the side. Get rid of that. I'm gonna take my watercolor paper and I'm gonna start with crayon. And I'm using black crayon. If you wanna start with pencil and then go over your pencil with black crayon, you could do that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with crayon and you can too if you feel comfortable. Just gonna do some lines. We're still talking about line this week, just like last week. Maybe that dips in there. There's some wavy lines. This is gonna be my ocean. That looks pretty good. And then my sun is gonna go somewhere right here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna actually get out my glue. <clears throat> I'm going to glue my sun down where I want it. That looks pretty good. So there's our sun. Give it a little press. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now I can continue on and I'm going to make straight lines extending out from my sun. And those are my sun rays. All right, that's looking pretty good. What I'm gonna do next is take my markers. Now I'm gonna show you a way to paint with markers, that's right. So I've separated them into two different piles. These are my warm colors and these are my cool colors, okay? You'll notice that my cool colors are blues and greens and then my warm colors are pinks and oranges and yellows and reds. Now purple is kind of a funny color because it sometimes falls into the warm category and sometimes it's cool depending on the shade of purple. So I just like to put it in the middle and I'm going to use cool colors to add some color to my ocean. Now I'm not coloring in completely, I'm just adding more lines to the lines that I've already made, and I'm gonna show you why I'm doing that in just a minute. I'm gonna be sure to use green. Go along this guy. Okay, put some good color in there. Okay, so it just looks like a bunch of lines for now, but stay with me, because this is about to get good. And now for my sun rays, get this blue out of there. For my sun rays, I wanna switch to warmer colors. So I'm gonna put my purple down by my cool colors. I can do some pinks. And I'm using the side of my marker. It's kind of the fat side. It's gonna allow a lot of good color to show through. And I know it just looks like I'm making a bunch of lines, and I am, you're not wrong. But I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a second. I think I'm gonna go all the way around my sun. I think I like that. Okay, maybe a red over here. And these are just regular old washable Crayola markers. And notice I'm not coloring in I'm just using my fat side of my marker to outline all of my sections. 
and I have one more, and I think I'm going to use my yellow. That's looking pretty good. And now that I have lots of good color on my artwork, is the time to add some water. So what this water is going to do is it is going to drag all of that color from my markers onto the paper. Now the, the more, the thicker the lines you use when you're on the marker step, the more color you will get out of that marker. If your lines are really, really fine, it's gonna be hard to get lots of good color. Okay, so there is our ocean. Isn't that cool? Who knew you could paint with water and markers? This is also a, a little tip if you don't have watercolors at home, something you could always do. So that's looking really good for my ocean. And now it's time to do my sun rays. You'll find with this that some colors work better than others. That's okay. Looks pretty cool to me. I have my warm colors up at the top. They're warm. Think of the colors that you see in a sunset in the sky. Pinks and yellows and oranges, reds. So my lines are slowly disappearing as I add more water. And the color is just getting spread all around. I think this is so fun. Spread those colors up. Any final touches? And that is it. 